Railroads have influenced American life in so many ways. They gave us our modern time zones, upgraded our nutrition by making fresh produce available nationwide, and even redrew the map of the United States. And it was a rail company that proved to be one of the most influential architects of the American 20th century, upending U.S. labor relations, changing the way we travel, and even creating the country's very first planned community. By now, you probably know that I'm talking about the Pullman Company. If you were riding in a sleeping car in the U.S. at the beginning of the 20th century, you were almost certainly riding in a Pullman car. The company both built and ran sleeping cars on American passenger trains. Passengers would buy their fare from the railroad that they were traveling on, but then would purchase a room separately from the Pullman Company. Pullman maintained the cars and provided the staff to take care of all the passengers' needs. Led by George Pullman, the company founded the town of Pullman, Illinois in the early 1800s. The town contained offices, factories, and an entire planned community where all of the employees and their families had access to shops, restaurants, schools, hospitals, everything they needed, all provided by Pullman. The town played a significant role in the labor movement. The Pullman strike of 1894 began here and had a profound impact on workers' rights in the United States. At its height in the 1920s, Pullman operated over 9,800 cars. Some nights, more people would be spending the night in a Pullman car than in any hotel chain in existence, thereby arguably making Pullman the largest hotel company in the world. The company's cars were highly sought after by passengers, and the Pullman name quickly became synonymous with luxury and comfort. They were a major part of American rail travel, and its legacy lives on today. Relics of the Pullman Company include more than just the handful of private cars still roaming the rails. Even Amtrak contains some traces of this history, if you know where to look. If you're traveling in a sleeping car in the United States right now, chances are the car and the staff are both part of Amtrak but you could still be riding in a Pullman. In 1927, Pullman separated into the Pullman Car Company, which still ran the sleeping cars, and the Pullman Car and Manufacturing Company, which focused solely on building rail cars. They later acquired the Standard Steel Car Company and renamed itself Pullman Standard in 1930. They eventually got out of the business of operating sleeping cars, and Pullman Standard concentrated on building not only sleeping cars, but other passenger cars, mass transit vehicles, and even freight cars. Amtrak's first order of superliners was in fact built by Pullman Standard. As the final superliner rolled off the production lines in 1981, the mighty Pullman Car Company would have built its last sleeping car and Bombardier would acquire the rights to build any future superliners. Bombardier later built Amtrak's second order of superliners, known as Superliner 2s, which took to the rails in 1993. When you're in an Amtrak Superliner 1 car, you are riding in the last Pullmans ever built. But how do you tell if you're in a Superliner 1 or a 2? As these cars go through routine maintenance year to year, it becomes increasingly difficult to tell, but one tried and true method is to look at the trucks. These are what the trucks look like on a Superliner 2. And if the trucks look like this, you are most likely riding in a Superliner 1, the last of the Pullmans. Another way you could tell them apart is by the closet in the roomettes. If yours has a closet, then you're in a Superliner 1. These were removed from the plans when the 2s were being built in order to make the roomettes feel more spacious. Superliner 1 sleepers also have larger restrooms, and received various upgrades that the Superliner 2s did not because they were already newer. You can usually also identify these updated Superliner 1 cars by their fake wood paneling. Today, the town of Pullman, Illinois has been designated a national monument and park. Several of the buildings, including the main office building, some of the factories, and the Hotel Florence have been thoughtfully restored and are available to the public for tours. And of course, one of the most exciting ways to relive the heyday of Pullman is to take a ride in one of their historic cars. 
I recently completed a 5,000 mile tour of the US riding in three of these restored cars. The Salisbury Beach, the Colonial Crafts, and the Lambert's Point. A full video on this amazing adventure is coming your way later this summer. But for now, check out this video about one of the most iconic cars that Pullman ever built and take a ride down the Hudson River on the most famous train in the world. Please like and subscribe to help me bring you more videos just like these. Thank you for watching Rail Weekly.